Okay, this is my video tutorial on Windows Movie Maker, how to make a video or slideshow with the effects and stuff. Um, not real uh, high-tech, but pretty simple and easy to use once you get the hang of it. So, I have Windows Vista, and it, the Movie Maker software already came with my uh, computer. So, I'm going to click on the Start button, and I have it saved right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, um, but if you don't have it right here, you can go to your All Programs, Go to your list here and find it. Click on Windows Movie Maker. Now I've already got this picture up here, but I'm going to delete it. Um, now this, these boxes down here, are going to be where you put your media, your pictures, your videos, etc. So you're going to go to the Import, and if you want a video, you click the video. I'm going to put a picture up, so I'm going to click Pictures, and just find one somewhere in all your stuff. So I'll just go to a random one. Go to Pictures. Uh, click this one will up import it. So now all you gotta do is click and drag it to here and you've got it. If you want to repeat it, just click and drag to as many as you want. Uh, you can add effects like this. You can put a 3D ripple, you can do all kinds of stuff. See up over here it adds that effect to it. Um, people on videos, this is uh, how they speed it up or slow it down and stuff. Um, I don't know if this is how they do it, but this is slows it down by half, speeds it up by double for videos and whatnot. All kinds of these cool effects. You drag this down to the little boxes right here. Okay, so I'm going to remove the effect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Transitions. There's also one right here you can click on. But I'm going to click on this one, and you've got these different things. Now this is mainly for slideshows. You've got effects like this. You click on it, and you can sample it right here. See, that shows you. And if you decide you want it, you click it and drag it in between. And then when you play your storyboard, it'll show the transition between uh, pictures. It'll play the slideshow for you, and you'll have that little whatever you picked. Okay, that didn't work for me for some reason. Anyway, that's how it works. Um, uh, okay, let's see. Titles and credits. You can go to titles and credits and add, well, titles and credits. Um, my computer's being slow. Okay, here we go. You can either click on credits at the end. It'll automatically place it at the end. Title overlay on selected clips. You can click it and whatever. Title before the selected clip and title at the beginning. You just click on whatever, enter your text. You can change your animation to whatever you want. It'll sample it over here. You can edit the font, the transparency, size, position, uh, italics, fonts, uh, type, color, background, all kinds of stuff. So, and then it'll add that. Um, you can import from these different sources, the, from digital video camera, videos, pictures, audio, or music. Now, for some of those, you have to go to the timeline view. And it shows you the title overlays down here. The audio or music is down here, and then the pictures and video is up here. You can zoom in on it, and it'll show you as you uh, go to the beginning and play it. This green bar will move along it and show you where you're at. So, like, this is helpful if you have, uh, like, music after, like, the first picture or something. It'll play, and then, like, if the music's right here, it'll kick in as it gets to it. So it'll hit it and then start playing and it'll show you where everything's at. You can move stuff, you can, uh, like I'll click on this, I can extend that, or I can shorten it, make it a shorter period of time, all that great stuff. So I'm going to switch back to storyboard. There's all kinds of effects I'm not going to explain right now, but you can experiment around with yourself. Now if you want to put it on YouTube, I have another video that I'll put in the description box. You can go to that and that shows you how to do it. Um, this part is pretty simple though, if you want to email it, recordable CD, DVD, published to this computer, which is uh, what that description box video is going to show you how to do, and digital video camera, all kinds of stuff, that's pretty simple. So, there you go, that's Windows Movie Maker in a nutshell.